I'll go over one possible solution for populating the K matrix. It's possible you came up with a much simpler way to populate the K matrix for the one-dimensional code that we're dealing with in this lecture. However, the approach I'll be using also works for more complex 2D and 3D FEM models. So I might recommend you use, use this approach or something similar that could be expanded to 2 and 3D where the nodes won't all be in one straight line. First, we need to figure out where each term of the KE matrix needs to be placed in the K matrix. Each column of the K matrix corresponds to the global node numbers of the grid. So from 1 to NN, we have K11, K12, K13, and so forth. So this one corresponds to node 1, since it's multiplied by EZ1. And this column corresponds to node 3, and this one corresponds to node 3. As a result, we will know where to put each term of the KE matrix if we know the global node numbers for the two nodes of each element. We can call this the element connectivity. To store the element connectivity information, we can define a matrix, which I'll abbreviate to ELMCON, which stands for element connectivity. And the first index will correspond to the element number, and the second index will correspond to the element node number for that element, ranging from 1 to 2, since there's only two nodes per element. So we'll have ELMCON in your code can be initialized to zeros. There's NE in the first index and two possible values in the second index. The numbers stored at each IJ position of the element connectivity matrix will be the global node number for the specified element and node number for that element. In other words, here's a table showing the element connectivity information. The left column here is the first index, I, so if this is I comma J, we have the element number it corresponds to I. And when the second index, when J is equal to 1, we have the first node of the element, the number that is stored in the element connectivity matrix are the numbers here. And when the second index, J, is equal to 2, the number that is stored in the element connectivity matrix is the number in the third column here uh, of this table. Write a short section of code that you can use to fill in the values of this element connectivity matrix based on this table 